thesmartlocal.com Hi everyone, I'm Fauzi and welcome to your brand new episode of Word in the Street. When it comes to schools in Singapore, there's an age-old comparison between elite and neighbourhood schools. But in a society where success comes to those who work hard, I'm taking the streets to find out if it even matters to Singaporeans which school an individual comes from. First question, how old are you guys? 22. 22? 22. 18. 19. We're all 19. Yeah. What schools were you from? Unity Primary and then Christchurch. MGS, um, Cambridge Secondary School, ACS International and then SMU. We were all from Rosai. Okay. And then RGS, RI, RI and then RJC. Yeah. Why do you choose to go to the secondary school that you went to? Through friends, peer pressure, because we tend to go together. Because it was relatively near. My PSI results really weren't that great and that's the only place I could get into. Now the question is, do you enjoy your school experience? Can say yeah, one of the lucky few. Uh, secondary school would be one of the best days in my life. Like, the environment was nice. It's very chill back in secondary school compared to like what it is now. Are you familiar with any stereotypes that your school has? Like, yeah. It was considered like a notorious school because everybody had bad results. People think that everyone there is really good at Chinese, okay. but it's not true. We talk a lot. Okay. Uh, we uh, speak a lot of English. I guess uh, people think that we are very arrogant, okay. uh, not easy to talk to in our own world. Are these stereotypes then justified? Are they true? Okay, so ACES Bako is actually the HQ for Chinese language okay. B syllabus. <laughs> it's not, but I feel like if you're not in the school, you wouldn't know. Your peers are also trying to help you and stuff like that. It's not a, you know, dog eat dog world kind of like everyone just wants to climb over other people <laughs> kind of. That would be an interesting image. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> it's not what it is. Yeah. Okay, the reason why I'm asking these questions is because I want to find out what people think about the distinction between elite schools and neighbourhood schools. What do you understand by the term elite school? You get recognised if you get into a school. Ah. Yeah, you go to a certain school, people are like, oh, you're from that school, you know? It's just students with like better grades and then they go to that school, that's all. Well, what do you understand by the term neighbourhood school? It's just near your house, no? <laughs> just, <laughs> isn't it that? That is literally it, I would say. What are some stereotypes people have about people from elite schools and neighbourhood schools? Let's start with elite schools. The families are, per se, more well-off and the education is much better. People are more driven, more, they know what they want, they know how to get what they want. Nerdy, studious. They're more eloquent in their speeches. What about neighbourhood schools? They don't really see you as accomplished as compared to those in elite schools. They live in HDBs, of course it's around the area, yeah, but I live in HDB too, so it's kind of, yeah. We just want to get through education, I per se. Okay. Nothing too important. People think that it's very bad, it's like very gangster, right? But it really, really isn't. Like, don't worry if you're going to a neighborhood school. Do you think this, there's any truth in any of these stereotypes? There must be some element of truth. Sure. But I think it's blown out of proportion. It is pretty true that um, you have more pressure to, to be good in your studies because right. everyone there is essentially hardworking. You see um, all like the top tier people, they are normally from those schools. So now that I'm in poly, right, I can see people from like elite schools and people like me from neighbourhood schools. I feel like everybody's the same. I really don't feel like there should be a judgement like neighbourhood schools are worse than elite schools. I think it's the attitude that matters the most. No matter how cliche it sounds, lah, yeah. Don't you all take the same paper in, this end of, in the end of the day? So it doesn't really matter right, where you're from. Where do you think these stereotypes come from? Most of the time it's from the older generation. From our parents, okay. possibly. Explain. The parents will be like, oh, they are from this school, uh, they are probably like this. But I think like the younger generation is more like, it's more chill. They don't, they don't really mind as much. Do you think being from a specific type of school puts you at an advantage or a disadvantage. The people in the neighbourhood schools might not be well off enough but they do study really hard so they can still go to really good schools. I think it all depends on uh, how you approach it. If, if you go and absorb everything and learn everything, I think in the end of the day, everyone's on level ground. Because in the end, she said it, we all do the same paper. Whether neighbourhood schools or elite schools, do you think it's important for them to mingle? Yeah, of course. Why? There shouldn't be a barrier between uh, between an elite school or a neighborhood school. If you think there are common interests between you two, why not? You know, you can be talking about anything random, but you guys relate to one another, why not? It's not an issue. When you mingle with more people, you'll be able to like empathize, better empathize and better understand people. It's always good to broaden your horizons. So it's always good to meet people from other places, uh, other backgrounds, so that you, you are not so narrow-minded. 
just make friends you you think they're nice just make friends with them I think she's pretty approach her say hey hey at the end of the day does it really matter where school you come from nope not at all school is just an area where you study like I think what's most important is your character because that's how you build connections, that's how you make friends and that's how pe people view you first, not your grades or whatever. It doesn't really matter which school you're from, but I feel it's always good to be proud of where you come from. It'll be really sad if like the school that you go to dictate who you are as a person. I think it's what you make of that experience. Yeah, I think you, a lot of the control is still in your own hands. So most of the people we spoke to believe that whichever school one is from will not matter once they've graduated. Because at the end of the day, it is one's own hard work and character that will determine their success. That's it for this episode of War in the Street. To watch all our other videos, you can click over there. As always, like, share and subscribe. And until next time, bye!